Hey there YouTubers, Snowy here. In this video I want to tell you how to encode multiple files using Handbrake. Open Handbrake and click on Source. Then click on Open a folder. Locate your folder. Select Folder. As you can see I have made a few videos for this video. Very short videos, by the way, three to four seconds. So, for this purpose, they will do just fine. Now, set your output settings. Container, well, it does not really matter which container you use, so let's set it to MKV. Picture, normally, this will use the source file. So I've recorded this, these files in HD, so just let it be. Filters, you don't have to do anything unless your source is interlaced and you know if, though if, if, if especially DVD images tend to have horizontal stripes, you would set this one to fast, but in this case it's not necessary so we set it to off. Then the most important part is the video tab. The video codec is H.264. You may experiment with the uh, H.2.65 codec but for the purpose of this video I use this codec. It's very important because you use multiple files to leave the frame rate at same as source and select variable frame rate. This is because you can use different files from different sources so you don't want uh, a video which has a frame rate of 60 frames per second suddenly have a frame rate of 29 frames per second because if you do that you get video audio sync problems. Then the optimize preset button. If you slide it to the left, well it says it, then the computer will encode your video ultra fast. But this will come at a price. This will cost you quality. So my recommendations are, if you have a fast computer, make use of it and set it to very slow. These settings can be ignored most of the times. Constant quality. Well, if the material is HD, I, will, I would prefer it to be between 20 or 22 if the quality is somewhat lower like SD material, DVD material you can experiment with somewhat higher settings like 25, 26, 27 it's, it's a personal choice, it does not matter for the purpose of this video I set it to 21 then let's get to the audio tab we want normal audio so we don't want the AAC codec, but the MP3 codec. And we use a normal bitrate of 128. That's a very standard uh, bitrate for, uh, for audio. And, well, if you, if you prefer higher settings, then that's your choice. But I just take uh, 128 in this example. Set the mix down to stereo. Subtitles, well, you may add them. Chapters, not important. So you are all set now. And what you have to do now is you have to add this setting as a preset. So you click on add. You give it a name. Let's say snowy. You may change these settings if necessary. Description, snowy, garbage, will do. 
click on add it sits now here now select add to queue and select add all yeah now you will notice this codec is back to AAC on the fifth title if you click again on user preset you will see it has changed to mp3 so all the files now this one this one and this one this one the settings are applied to all the files well, isn't that neat all right hit, hit start let's wait this will take not very long I guess preparing to encode four seconds per video file anyway oh it's it's done already all right well now let's check it in total commander what we see here these are the original files they only last four seconds and these are the files created well as you can see they are only a half uh, a megabyte in size so that's big difference right I will click one for example okay that will do so I hope you I hope you find this tutorial useful. Sorry for my bad English. I uh, am not a native English speaker, as you know. Uh, I will make more tutorial videos in the future. So I hope you will see them as well. And subscribe if you like. And uh, I see you next time. Okay, bye.